Got an Allen Bradley 1500. Customers complaining of a bad display. So we're going to inject a signal, a known good signal off the analyzer, and see what it looks like. Okay, nothing but lines. No display, very little video resolution. We've either got a main board failure, component failure, or a bad LCD. So what we're gonna have to do is check the LCD next. All right, now that we're at the uh, LCD test station, we have a couple selections for video cards and formats for different sizes LCDs. So what we're gonna do is bypass the motherboard that's on here and the video display and install our own injected signal using the same analyzer that we have at our benches. So we pick the right frequency and we can see by the test pattern that we have perfect resolution. Now, along with the test stand, we have an analyzer that allows us to change the format to any frequency or any rate we want. So we're going to go and change that. And it'll change our display, change our resolution. And you can see that the video response is normal. So now that has eliminated having to guess or order parts that the unit does not need. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the bench, pull off the motherboard, and find locate where our problem is. And that's where we'll start back. Now, what we found was several bad components, in this case capacitors, on the main board bring it down the power which wasn't running the video circuit correctly so all we have to do is finish installing reinstalling the motherboard we can now verify that we have the same picture we had on the test stand showing everything is working correctly so we'll set our rate oh, we'll go recall 7 standard so we're running at 31.5 horizontal frequency, 60 for vertical rate, and in this case we're running 640 by 480. We can run 1024, but for test purposes it won't be necessary. And verify we have an effective repair. And there we are, perfect screen. That's exactly what you want to see. And you notice the picture is too wide. Well, the advantage of using this analyzer is you can change the rate. We could change it from 480 to 400, 1024, and you can see our display changes with a frequency change. So this just allows us to check a multitude of different applications. With that, we have an effective repair, not needing to order or replace parts that weren't necessary.